All right, Libra, here we go. This is your situation now. Very nice. Seeing strength is saying that, especially for those who are in a relationship, this is a strengthening of that relationship, having the inner strength to deal with conflicts that may be surrounding the relationship. But seeing that to me is like you really tapping into that super strength and being able to deal with whatever happens in your love life. Oh, the other person's feelings. Woo. Woo. And what's funny is that that was the past coming through for you during the monthly reading. So seeing the Ten of Swords, again, it's painful endings, painful endings. So this person now, if you're single and you're meeting somebody new, this person may have had a really painful ending and I, I think that, you know, the idea of starting a new relationship here is not really a good idea for that person. But again, seeing strength there, I, I feel like the both of you are going to have the strength to deal with that or with whatever painful endings are happening there. It worries me seeing that, but it's good seeing strength there. Now, the aspects of the relationship, the four swords needing to take a break. Man, oh man. And, you know, again, there's this feeling surrounding this that goes back to the monthly reading and needing to just put a band-aid on some pain. But, you know, with the four swords, you got to be careful here about, like, not moving forward with this person here. But then again, maybe you don't want to. I mean, if you're coming across somebody new who's been through a lot of shit, you're kind of like, meh, you know. But again, strength is saying you're going to be able to deal with it. The other aspects of the relationship, the Seven of Wands. Now, this to me is, you know, you standing up for yourself and not only that, but for the other person as well. Again, with strength there, it's like using your voice and using your voice for those who may not be able to speak. Now, you know, if you're in a relationship right now, there may be like, you know, I, I feel like it's teetering on ending. You know, it, it could go either way here. I mean, it's like... You could be dealing with a breakup, but you, you come out of it standing your ground. And then on the other hand, you know, this could suggest that you have the strength to stand your ground as far as fixing this relationship. But with the four of swords sitting here, it's like going to sleep on somebody like me, you know, man, oh man, what will test you now seeing the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. This could suggest somebody new coming through. And this could be an earth sign. And this is somebody who is dependable. This is like slow and steady. This is like a slow burning kind of situation. It's not going to like fizzle out right away seeing this. And I have to wonder seeing what's going on here. If, you know, maybe some of you don't have somebody else coming through. But I mean, regardless with strength, it's like... You're, you're going to be able to deal with whatever painful things are going on here, especially with that other person. And then, you know, with you in the way that you're just kind of like on the fence right now. But, you know, you come out of it standing up for yourself, you know, and possibly standing up for the other person. But, you know, seeing that Knight of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, this may be somebody else coming through. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just going to call this the way I see this. Now, I feel like maybe some of you have got a couple people going on. There's going to be an ending with one of them. And then seeing the Knight of Wands as the outcome. Mm, 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 mm. You know, for those of you who are in a relationship right now, you got to be careful of the people that may be coming through and offering you something different, especially if you're dealing with some pain in a relationship right now. Man, oh man, but strength, strength sitting there is good. It's good. 
But with the seven of wands, again, it's like you're standing your ground. But there's, you know, seeing that knight of wands, again, whirlwind romance. And I feel like, you know, this is a new adventure for you. Something new, something different. You know, I mean, it's almost like you really need to ask yourself here, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to choose here? You know, and the four of swords could suggest you... It's like hitting a point where you're like not really making a decision, not really moving forward. And then all of a sudden, here's these two knights, you know. Man, oh man, this one's rough. <laughs> so what I feel like is like whoever, if you're in a committed relationship right now, whoever you're in a relationship with, there could be a possible breakup. And you're kind of like standing your ground on that. But then there's these people that are around you. Strength is saying that you're going to have the inner strength to deal with whatever comes in your path. But are you going to choose to heal the relationship or are you going to choose something new here? Because I really feel like that Knight of Wands coming through is like pulling you out of this like no action into boom. You know, here we go. Here's something new. You know, the Knight of Pentacles. You know, this could be somebody new coming through too, or this could be the slow and steady, dependable, you know, relationship where you may be having issues here. And it's like, what are you going to choose? What are you going to do here? My goodness. All right. We are going to look at whispers of love because yeah, we definitely need some more guidance on what the hell is going on here. But I really feel like for some of you, and I, I really don't care what the comments are on this one, but I definitely feel like there's going to be a breakup. There's going to be a breakup. You're going to have some options. And it's almost like with the Four of Swords, you just kind of go to sleep on the relationship that you're in right now. And all of a sudden, here comes this Knight of Wands. And boom, you're off into some whirlwind romance, right? But strength, you, you're, you're going to be strong through all of it. It doesn't matter. Like, you're going to be just fine. You're going to have the inner strength to deal with whatever happens between an existing relationship or a new one. Now, if you're single and you come across some of these people, one of them is going to have to end. One of the situations is going to have to end here. And you're going to have to stand your ground about it. What are you going to choose? It's Libra in love. What are the messages for Libra? Look at your pattern in relationships. Oh, shit. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. <laughs> yes. Inner strength, inner strength. When you look at the way that you view relationships and the way that you view love, you know, if you're used to the same pattern where if you deal with a breakup and you just kind of are like, you know, experiencing some people, you really have to look at how you can change that kind of pattern. Because again, with the Ten of Swords sitting there, somebody is, is something's going to have to end with somebody and it's going to be painful. Man, man, but regardless with that seven of wands, it's like you, you need to stand your ground on what you choose here. Are you going to choose to, you know, go with one person or the other? Are you going to choose to fix your relationship? Practice compassion. And you know what's funny is that that was the one that showed up for Lay Vampire for you too in your monthly reading. See things from a different perspective. This speaks to breakup issues. You know... And definitely with the Four of Swords, that's what you need to do rather than just going into like a no action mode. You know, you need to use that to be able to see the situation differently. If you're wanting to stand up for that partner and heal that relationship, have that dependability and that long lasting love and not this fast like fizzle out Knight of Wands situation, right? You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. Well, Libra, there you go. <laughs> Again, with strength, I feel like no matter what you choose to do in this situation, you're going to be fine. You're going to have the strength to deal with whatever happens, especially if there is a need to like end a situation with somebody else. You know, and again, with the Seven of Wands, it's like you're standing up for yourself. You're not, you know... You're not kind of rolling over on this situation, but again, with practice, compassion, and look at your patterns in relationships, you really need to look at the way that you act when you deal with breakups is what I feel like. Now, you know, 
you you got to speak up here you really have got to speak up on how you know you may be feeling too when it comes to you know the way that you act in breakup situations man oh man but you know with you are limitless you you can do whatever the hell you choose to do it doesn't matter right and with strength it, it you, you're going to be fine and again you know this reading to me speaks back to your monthly reading where it was like needing to heal some pain putting a band-aid on it and you know if you have to do that go for it right but if you're trying to work on a relationship you you got to get out of this no action feeling here you know and speak up and let them know how you feel and be careful about the people that may be surrounding you right now. All right, Libra. Oh boy. You've got some stuff going on here. So I feel like with this representing the other person's feelings and you coming in with this, this could suggest that there may be like this teetering point in an existing relationship where there may be a breakup going on. And the Four of Swords could suggest a need for some separation but again strength though is saying that you can fix this right and then with the seven of wands it's like you speaking up about how you feel about what may be going on in the relationship but i feel like you're going to have some people coming through do you work on this relationship or are you going to be swept away in this whirlwind romance is what i feel like now you know, and again, this reading goes back to your monthly reading and there's this feeling where there's this need to put a band-aid on some pain here. Now, for those of you who are single, I almost feel like somebody is going to have to be over with. Something is going to have to end here. You're going to have a couple of people coming through and it's like, which one are you going to choose here? Because one of them is going to have to end, right? And when you look at with what you pull with whispers of love, you are limitless. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. It doesn't matter. And with strength, you have the inner strength to deal with whatever situations happen out of this. But, you know, really, you need to look at your patterns in relationships. How is it that you act during breakup situations? I know, and I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I know in situations where you feel like, you know, you're ending a relationship, there's this need to kind of put a band-aid on the pain, you know, the rebound, right? But if you're wanting to break that cycle, you have to look at the way that you behave, right? Now, with practice compassion, this was also part of your monthly reading from Lay Vampire. You really need to have compassion for yourself, but more than that, for the people that you're dealing with when it comes to love situations. Because again, there's this feeling here that something's going to end. Something's going to have to end with somebody. And you have to have compassion for them and yourself. But regardless, you know, you can do whatever the hell you want to do here because strength is saying that you can deal with these situations. But, you know, really it's a question of, what are you going to choose to do? Are you going to break the, the pattern of behaviors that you have around these situations? Or are you just going to kind of continue into this and see what happens? But you're limitless. You can do whatever you want. It's totally up to you.